Today we'll be returning to Grotesque's Deadly World. Now before we get started with our plans for today's episode, we'll go ahead and address the elephant in this room, or I guess in this case the grown wolf in this room. Yeah, those of you with a keen eye may have noticed that, you know, the last time we saw Sif, he was just a, you know, a, a little baby wolf. And then I literally, as soon as I stopped recording the last episode, like as soon as I clicked stop recording on my OBS, I went and looked at my screen and he was fully grown. Needless to say... They grow up so fast. But anyways, at the end of the last episode, I ended up getting blown up by a creeper by the ruin portal that we found. So our first plan of action is to immediately make a boat and sail over there because we have literal diamonds waiting for us. We've spent a good bulk of the last couple episodes like mining and looking for diamonds and stuff like that. So today we're going to be taking a break from that. We're actually going to be kind of like working on some home renovations, some base renovations. There's a lot that I want to get done, especially when it comes to like improving our farms a bit. Like I want to expand the sugarcane farm, the wheat slash seed farm, and then animal farms. I just, I want to make things bigger. I also kind of want to work on our storage situation. Like, I'm not sure if I want to make the house bigger and then put a storage room inside of it, or if I just want to make, like, a separate storage building. I also want to get started on, like, looking for Endermen and stuff like that, or at least starting to take them out once we see them, which I know a good place to get them. The, in the cave that we went in the last episode, there was literally, like, five of them just roaming around down there, and they were all pretty hostile. So I'm probably going to end up going down there and taking them out at some point. I know there's a way to make like enderman farms and stuff like that but i'm not really good at making like automatic farms i'm not really good at making farms period any farms that i make end up being manual the only time i made an automatic farm before was like a sugarcane farm back when 1.16 first came out because i was trying to experiment with redstone but needless to say I fail pretty miserably. Like I was talking about before, like, I have a bunch of plans for this series now. I have them all jotted down in my notes app. It's just, like, a matter of when do I actually want to take care of each of those things. Because, like, I want to go to the nether soon, for example. I want to go on another mining adventure. I want to get, like, a full set of diamond armor and tools before we go into the nether. I also want to get, like, an enchantment building set up with, like, all the bookcases that we need. Like, I have a lot of plans. It's just, it's gonna take a good bit of time. Oh, okay. It seems like when the creeper blew me up, it kind of, like, blew my stuff all over the place. Like, it's literally in the water. All right, thank- oh, thank god. That's actually what I was worried about the most, like, the diamonds, but okay, so five diamonds, so we're good there, and we also got the diamond pick back. That's literally all that I cared about. All of our other stuff is still here, which is good. I was worried that, like, these magma blocks would be able to destroy my items, but thankfully magma blocks aren't, like, lava, so we're all good there. But with that being said, it is officially nighttime, so we're gonna get back in the boat and go home. I got all the important stuff that I wanted. I got the obsidian. I got the diamonds. That was literally all that I wanted. Wait, hold on a minute. We've been in that cave over there, because that's one with the warden before but is this like a whole other cave over here that i haven't oh never mind there's skeletons over there i you know what i'll come back here when it's daytime i was debating exploring it but then i saw the skeletons and there's like spiders and all that over there so yeah i'll pass i'm honestly really happy that i decided to make this series because like before making it i've always been a java minecraft player like i've always preferred it i never necessarily had anything against bedrock especially considering the fact that i kind of grew up with bedrock in a way because if you know anything about bedrock it's technically the original mobile version of minecraft but on console consoles and well I grew up with pocket edition which would make you think that I would already like technically just by default like bedrock but for some reason when it came to playing the bedrock version on consoles I didn't like it as, like, I liked playing it on the mobile devices, the ones that it was created for, but for some reason, when it came to actually playing it on console I, and PC, I just, you know, I didn't like Bedrock as much or the way that it felt as Java. But I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the more the time has gone on, the more Bedrock has actually kind of grown on me. Don't get me wrong, I still prefer Java, and I also prefer, like, the legacy console versions of Minecraft, because those basically ran on the same engine as Java. I don't know if they necessarily were the same engine, but they played about the exact same as Java. So when it comes to how the game Game feels to play like I still prefer those versions of the game however bedrock has definitely grown on me like I genuinely actually like playing it now because while I still do see Java as being like the definitive version and way to play Minecraft I must admit like bedrock is really nice like it feels really smooth to play something about when you're like running around and building and stuff like it feels very loose in a good way and while the original legacy versions of Minecraft did work very well on console obviously like I must admit like this just feels really smooth overall especially on the newer consoles and plus from what I've heard the bedrock version is optimized a bit better so you're able to use your console's power to a bit of a better potential like you're able to crank up the view distance you're able to crank up the effects and get like ray tracing on the series x you may not rest now there are my why dude i'm inside of my house oh you're at the there's still monster i took care of the mo oh now there's a skeleton i literally only have one heart i i I don't want to fight you, dude. Please go away. I just, 
<laughs> I want to go to sleep. At this point, though, I could truthfully say, like, I genuinely enjoy playing both versions of Minecraft. I know you should never eat rotten flesh, but I'm not kidding when I say that I'm literally out of food. Like, this is all that I have to resort to. Can I go to sleep yet? They're not nearby. He's, like, a whole five blocks away. That's pretty far away. Can I? Okay. Now I can go to sleep. Skeleton being like six blocks away from my window. Yeah, that was a bit too close, but seven blocks. Okay, yeah, that's fine. You deserve to burn. All right, well, with that being said, yeah, it's definitely time to like grow the farm a bit more or at least expand it because uh, yeah, my food situation is not looking too great right now. I literally have three pieces of rotten flesh to my name and that is it. I really hate to do this, but I think I'm gonna have to use some of the wheat that I just got to... Uh, do a bit of breeding on the cows. It breaks my heart to have to do it, but I'm sorry. We made the animal farm for a reason, and I really need food. Hi, friends. I have 12 pieces of wheat right now, so I'm going to go ahead and breed some of you guys. Oh, my gosh. This actually kind of breaks my heart. I don't want to have to do this, but I literally, I don't have any other choice. The chicken, I mean, I don't even know if the chicken is still alive down there. I mean, I know the witch is down there. I, I don't even feel like messing with it right now, if I'm going to be honest. I'll go back down there when I have, like, a diamond sword or something. I guess, wait, what happens? if you breed a white wool with a dark gray wool? Do you get a light gray sheep? No, it just gave me another dark gray sheep. Okay. I really don't want to hurt the sheep if I can help it. I want to be able to shear as much wool as possible, but like... I'm really desperate. Man, don't look at me with those eyes. You're gonna make me sad. All right, are you homies ready to breed again? Maybe? Okay, yeah. We'll, we'll just keep breeding the cows up. I really need to make, like, a furnace room of some kind. Like, get, like, a bunch of furnaces. And uh, I don't even remember what the new ones are called. But the ones that you use, like, specifically for ores. Because apparently they can cook the ores a bit faster. I need to get, like, a whole setup like that going. So then every time that we come back from these mining trips, we can just throw them right in the furnace. Because right now I got, like... 36 iron I need to get through, 8 pieces of raw gold, like literal stacks of copper. And we got 16 diamonds right here. I haven't had this many diamonds in a while. What all do you need to craft an enchantment table? We need a book yet. How do you make a book? Okay, so to make a book, we need 1 piece of leather and 3 pieces of paper. But to make paper, I think we need sugar cane. I honestly haven't done this in so long. Like, I can't even tell you the last time that I dug in deep to a survival world to try to do all this stuff. Okay, so now that we have the paper, now we should be able to craft a book which then means we can craft an enchantment table oh my gosh we did it i'm definitely not gonna put the enchantment table inside of the house i'm thinking of using like these literal stacks of cobble deep slate i got to like make some really big like cool looking enchantment room so like if memory serves me correct i'm just gonna use like birch planks as the example here i'm pretty sure to get the max amount of enchantments you need to have it Sort of set up like this, where you have like a whole ring around it. I think you need at least 15 bookcases in total. I'm not really sure about that though. I don't know if these corner pieces are actually necessary, but I'm pretty sure you got to do this and then you got to stack it up like three times. If I'm wrong about that, please let me know because I don't want to have to like use more resources than I have to, but I'm pretty sure you need at least 15 bookcases in total. So what I want to do now is I kind of want to like excavate the land maybe a little bit, or maybe I'll like go over here and I want to make like this giant shrine made out of cobble deep slates and you walk in it's like some lit up path that leads you to the enchantment table make it look all like mystical and magical to kind of give a rough idea of what i'm thinking i'm thinking of the you know you have like the big shrine but then you have like a roof that like slowly kind of like goes up and up until it like reaches a point and it's like circular shape but i don't want to get too ahead of myself i have a really bad problem of getting overly ambitious and setting up like all these plans for myself and then never seeing them through the whole way anyway these cows have been chilling for long enough i'm gonna go ahead and breed a few more of them i think i'll probably go ahead and breed a couple of these sheep together just because i want to get my food as fast as possible here like i said we have literal stacks of cobble deep slate so that's kind of why i want to build the building out of this stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and start to like lay the foundation of it i think right up here would be a good spot like right next to the house but not too close we'll kind of like dig this area out a little bit i don't want to waste my diamonds just yet so i'm gonna make an iron shovel i know i probably have more than enough diamonds to invest in diamond tools at this point but i really don't want to risk it i don't like spending my diamonds so like right up here i'm thinking if we clear out some of this dirt this could be like the perfect spot because I don't need this building to be huge. I just need it to be big enough to house the enchantment table, house the bookshelves around it, and then maybe like a little walkway that leads up to it, but nothing too much more than that. Either that or maybe inside of the shrine, I could have the enchantment table, but then like near the entrances, I could also have like anvils and other stuff like that just in case I need to do like manual enchantments and I could keep like a chest there with a bunch of like enchantment books and all that. Dude, it feels so nice playing Minecraft again. I can't tell you the last time my imagination went crazy like this. It makes me feel like a little kid just like playing and having all these ideas and like images pop in my head of things I want to build it just it, it feels so good sun's getting ready to set but before we go back inside for the night I kind of want to like show you guys what I mean 
obviously i don't need this thing to be too big i just i i think i just might honestly make this thing big enough to just house the enchantment table and then i'll expand it later if need be so just like this we have enough room for the bookshelves and then the enchantment table will go like right here i hope cobble deep slate stairs are a thing because i actually just got a really cool idea for the entrance please tell me cobble deep slate yes they are a thing thank god okay i literally only need like four of them all right so hear me out right so like at the entrance we could have like stair oh maybe i think that's a little too far apart maybe this will be a bit better ah uh, i'm not i'm not really sure now that looks a little claustrophobic but basically what i'm going for here is like we build it up a little bit right and then maybe we could put like upside down stairs just like yeah look at dude that entranceway actually looks sick oh my gosh look at that that's actually a really cool design okay uh, see having it one wide i'm not too sure how i actually you know what i think that works perfectly i'm not really sure how i want to go about like connecting everything because i feel like if i just build on top of that it'll kind of destroy the illusion of like that cool entrance way i think the rest of the layout looks good though because if we put the bookshelves there that'll be enough once we stack them up for you know to get the max enchantments from the enchantment table then we can also stick like the anvils and any, any other like necessary things here and then i'm also gonna have to like figure out a way to like build this roof because i'm really not sure how i want to do it like i want to do what i was talking about before where we kind of have it like go up in a circular fashion I, I see originally when i was thinking of building this thing i was thinking of building it like kind of circular and that's still kind of sort of what i have in mind like i kind of actually want to expand this out and make it like a circular shape however for now i think i might just keep it small and then expand on it later if uh, maybe if there's like other purposes i could find for it then i'll expand on it because like what i want to do is i want to like actually like break down these walls and like make it a circle and then have the roof like go in and come to like one point in the middle if that makes sense i also just don't want to make the building bigger than i have to and i also don't want like just one small enchantment table and a set of bookshelves to look too out of place inside the building so I'm gonna tamper around in creative mode later and try to come up with some ideas for this. Anyways, for now, I'm just probably gonna go off camera, breed up some more animals, try to collect some more food, maybe expand the farm a little bit, and then we'll pick up in the next episode with continuing to build this thing where hopefully I'll have a better idea on like what I wanna do with it. But anyway, as always, a shout out to the Patreons and channel members, comments, favorite, grandma, little bitty tab, big daddy, mighty chill with source, Rex, Ray Zach, Polar, Radio, Watch, Nolan, Mons, Bianca, Spirit, Torch, Jupiter, Sound, Mala, Singing, Puna, Magic, Mason, Irvin, Chief, Wife, Dave, Tim, Sam, Noah, Aaron Reynolds, and Unknown. Thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day. Stay beautiful. I love you all. Peace.